All right, folks, welcome to our presentation. Welcome to our webinar, the Cybersecurity and Ethical Hacking Internship Program. Uh, just need to have a quick confirmation that the screen should be visible, the audio should be loud and clear. Are we on the same page? If it's good, then give you a thumbs up. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone out there. And first of all, thanks to everyone out there uh, who are attending this webinar. This seems so, this shows your attention, your focus, your dedication towards learning about the, the cybersecurity. And I can see we have Shraddak, we have Vivek, we have Dhawal, Arnav, Mangesh, Manish, Megha, plenty of participants and learners are over here. Okay, don't get offended if in case I am not able to read your name because we have n number of participants. And in case if you have any queries and questions, please feel free to ask into the Q&A. Over there, you can type your responses. Anything you want to ask uh, related to the technology, out of the box things, you are welcome to, to type. And I and our uh, the, the uh, volunteers is also into the meeting. They will be helping you for any of the queries if you have. All right, so let's get started. And yeah, one important note, if you are doing any any multitasking parallelly, if you are on the Netflix, if you are in a in a discussion with your group of your friends, or you are on the uh, like you know YouTube Shorts or Instagram, then please I would advise uh, you can close that. In case if you cannot, then I would advise you can take a quit from a meeting. That is much better. At least at a, at a time we can focus on one single task. Okay, not to be harsh, not to be rude, but that's uh, that's a, that's a way that. Uh, Something has to be conducted in a, in, a, in a serious manner. All right. So into this uh, webinar, we are using this Zoom tool, which you are quite familiar throughout the pandemic you have used. You might have attended your college, school uh, meetings on it. So you are not new to this tool, how to ask the questions. Okay, You can simply ask into the Q&A. Uh, throughout the session, you will be on the mute. The reason is that because we have like, you know, a number of participants. So uh all the time if we just asking the questions so the we end up completing the whole the time in answering the questions if you are on unmute okay so for to maintain that uh, uh maintain the bar i mean like to to have a balance we 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 ask you to to write your queries all right so this is the thing which i wanted to tell you and we will going to be having a poll two polls into this this webinar so the first poll is purely based on your educational qualification. Like if you are from a technical background, you can choose that options accordingly. If you are the options accordingly, this will going to help us to balance the session in a, in a proper way uh, based on the based on the results. OK, so the first poll I will be launching on your screen in a while and choose the options accordingly. OK. So we have like a BE that the first option, option A is purely for the technical. Number two option is non-technical. Number three is non-technical. Number four is also non-technical. And if you are not, if you, if you are, if you have anything else, you can post into the comments as well. And I can see the, the, the interest people is showing to take the participation into the poll is, is fantastic. Around 75% already took the participation into the poll. That's fantastic. <laughs> and this type of uh, uh, taking participation into the poll, I will be seeing into the next poll that will be into the last part of the, the webinar. So stay tuned until the time we reach to the last poll. And based on the last poll, you will be getting the uh, certification for this webinar along with the plenty of uh, additional things you will be you will be getting. Okay, that I'll be disclosing into the later part of this 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 webinar. All right, thanks a lot, everyone, for taking participation, and let's get started. So the thing is, the agenda, what we will be discussing into the today's today's uh, presentation, like I would say, it's a setting up the stage. Okay, so first of all, we will be starting with if I plan to be into the cybersecurity. So. What are the trending jobs into the cybersecurity? That will be the first thing we will be focusing a uh, lot of things into this. <clears throat> then the second one we will be focusing on, uh, like a lot of people decide, okay, I should go into the cybersecurity. 
But at the same time, there are many people who confuse them. Hey, you should go for the ethical hacking. Hey, you should go for this. So that's that's a common question uh, based on the previous experience we have come across. Like a lot of like the confusion. We should be removing this confusion or a dilemma. Like okay, the cyber security or the ethical hacking. Okay. Then the third one, the program which has been designed by the team of experts from Edureka, that is a four month internship program. That will be that uh, what this program contains. Okay, the the internal information insights of this program will be uh, shared with you. Along with this, the project and the certification details. As we know, like uh, projects plays a vital uh, and comprehensive role in every in like you know like uh, in improving in enhancing the performance in enhancing the skills for for every individual. So the projects that we have into this uh, program and the last but not the least, I would say the process, the enrollment process. We have like how you can enroll for this program. OK, just by uh, simply paying the money will not going to be helping. There are certain you know things we have to, to discuss in, in an initial part. Then the pricing, what is the pricing that a lot of people will be will be asking. And the uh, offers, I think we have offer for this, this, this program, I guess I'll be getting the mail into the last part regarding this. Let's see how this things goes on. So let's get started with this. So the first thing is about the cybersecurity. Okay. But over here, before we start a quick intro about the profile, uh, who am I, what I'm doing? So started into the networking started with a network administrator way back in early of uh 20, 2012 2011 and after that started to move on the security side and currently i am working as a as a red team engineer for one of the company okay it's an us based organization so that's how i took an experience into the industry into the plenty of domains when it comes to the to the cyber security all right, so this is the beginning of the presentation, the secure your future and over here, what is most in demand in job. Now let's understand cybersecurity market will going to be worth 248 billion. Okay, now how it is going to be, let's start with this. The first thing we need to understand why there is a demand for cybersecurity, why I should pursue for cybersecurity. So over here, you can see that world biggest data breaches and hacks now we need to understand what is a data breach so in, in in a layman term i guess you are well aware about the data breach but in case if you are not so let me explain you you are a customer for facebook you are a customer for mintra you are a customer for for amazon so definitely you have your credentials your username your password okay so when you log Facebook or any of these websites you have to prove your authentication okay that your your username and your password so these username and password is saved somewhere into the database that we call as a, a, a database, like a MySQL database, Oracle, where we where the records of their potential customers is secured. Now imagine if an hacker get an access, if an hacker compromises those database, so it is termed as the data breach. Okay, means their security has been breached. So over here on this Facebook, Shanghai police and other plenty of information which you can see. Okay, multiple, the Microsoft, these all have be the, the numbers which you can see over here have compromised way back in, in, in years. So over here, when I tap on Facebook, March 2021, 533 million record lost phone numbers, okay? Full names, locations, email address and biographical information for 533 million users across 106 countries scrapped due to a vulnerability. So this number of records was leaked online because of a minor vulnerability for the Facebook. Now, if I go dig deeper into this information, I will be finding uh, this point. The exposed data includes the personal information over 533 million Facebook users from 106 countries, including over 32 million records from US, 11 million from the UK and 6 million from the India itself. Now, how much equals to 6 million is? Is 60 lakhs, true or false? Now out of 60 lakhs, so let's write this number like this way, okay? 
Now, if I just only take the 10% value of this, only 10% I'm taking, how much it is going to be? <coughs> 6 lakh users. Okay. Now, just imagine only I took 10% of this and 6 lakh users have been scammed by these scammers with a minimum amount of 1000 rupees. Only 1000 rupees. 6 lakh user has been scammed with 1000 rupees. So, how much is going to be the? One, two, three, and one, two, three. This is the total amount have been scammed. Now, you know, like any of your friends, your neighbors, your family, your relatives may be a part of some sort of a scam through online scam, payment scam, or review scam, anything. How many of your friends or you were the part of this scam who lost the money? Couple of months, couple of weeks back, I read that uh, the whole syndicate of these uh, scammers is being operating, and people from Hyderabad loses more than seven twenty crores, and this figure can go beyond two thousand crores. Can go beyond. Now, can we imagine the amount of amount of uh, you know the people involved into it? So, my question is: Have you ever been scammed? Yes or no? <laughs> just a quick question with you guys just just simply type either either yes or simply type no it's it it doesn't take more than a fraction of seconds to write this no okay that's wonderful rahul jaykar jeet okay that's fantastic that's fantastic keep on posting keep spamming mm -hmm. wonderful wonderful amazing Okay, so we have to understand the demand of security at this point of time. How vulnerable, how sensitive the information is. Because we usually get the phone calls, hey, sir, I'm calling from this bank. Are you interested for this loan and this? How this information passed through these organizations? Then the second, if I look into this, we know about the Acer. Acer is a global, global, global vendor when it comes to the computers, laptop, peripherals. Way back in March 21, computer maker Acer hit by a ransomware attack demanding 50 million, which is considered to be the largest ransom till date. Okay, now you can imagine these companies has been hit by a ransomware attack. Now, those who don't know what is a ransomware attack, just giving you a quick glance on it. It's like, a, like you know, the whole data which you have inside your phone or your laptop for an instance. You are able to access your pictures. You are able to access your, um, you know, Microsoft Office, your documents. Next day, when you wake up, you are not able to read any of the information. The whole information is encrypted. So that is our ransomware attack, where attacker demands you to pay some handsome amount of money. It could range from one thousand dollars to a million, depending upon the the organization they have hit. So Acer was the part of this. Then the second one. Uh, another one, the Samsung cannot be the out of the list. So Samsung exposes PII in recent data breach. How many of you have heard about this term before this? PI, PII. Generally, it doesn't call as a PI, but I am calling it, okay? So PII, what do you, what do you understand by this PI? It's personally identifiable information, okay? So what is your personally identifiable information, if I ask you? simple thing is your name your phone number your email address okay so these this is this these are such information through which i can come to know about you so in a samsung recent data breach samsung exposes personal information in recent data breach now over here let's read out what was a samsung experienced a data breach back in late july okay and the intrusion in the early august Samsung neglected it as a duty as a collector of personal information by not reporting the incident to the affected customer in a timely manner. They, they did not bother to respond or to inform the customer. Okay. Now, what was into the PII name, contact, to demographic details, your date of birth, information related to the product registration were allegedly compromised according to the Samsung statement. Neither the social security number, which is like called our as an Aadhaar, nor credit or nor debit card information was accessed because those generally stored into the different system. So this is another breach for the for the Samsung. Now over here, one more case study from the Samsung is that 
Samsung suffered some massive source code leak by Lapsus Hacker Group. Okay, so online, there are the, into the cyber world, there are a lot of groups operating. Okay, a lot of groups, hundreds of groups are there. So every group has their own motive, own set agenda. Some of the groups will be targeting to the financial organization. Some of the groups will be uh, targeting to the hospital industry. Some of the groups will be targeting uh, the, the tech, uh, tech organization to disrupt the services for their customer. So Lapsus Hacker Group uh, 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 targeted the Samsung and they stole the source code of a particular application okay over here lapsus hacker group claimed to have samsung electronics and leak 190 gig of compromise containing sensitive data stolen from the company and this attack happened only after a after lapsus breached nvidia i i, I think it is going to be a stupid question if i ask over here but how many of you know about nvidia how many of you have heard before this that there is something called like nvidia uh, and what is nvidia i know it is going to be an stupid question but still let's keep this stupidity <laughs> stupidity throughout this session uh-huh yes or no not heard about it okay okay so we have people like see where there are people who even not able to know that what is nvidia okay so it's a big it's a large, largest corporation uh, across the globe in your systems whatever the graphics card you are having your gpu this is the company which designs okay there is no other company who is, who is designing these uh, gpus so they were also compromised uh, and attacked by this group lapses okay so over here one thing to realize over here let's do one more case study okay now a lot of lot of uh, people believe that apple is considered to be the most secure so providing the most secure services and all those information but 16 year old uh, teen guy okay had apple server and he stole 90 gig of data from the apple servers you can read the whole case study okay and that guy was just 16 year old so till now starting from the acer then we jumped on the samsung then we look into the two case studies of the samsung then we then we jumped on the apple okay so around four to five big big top uh, top four top five companies we have discussed into our case studies and these are the organizations which are spending huge amount of money for you know expanding themselves into the uh, into various countries where uh, across the globe they have the various location service centers and, and xyz but still they are not able to secure their environment from these cyber attacks so over here one thing to understand is that that these top companies who are who are having billions of dollars they are lacking in terms of security so if i talk about the companies which are below to these organization how much amount of sufferings they are facing every day when it comes to the security one more case study we come across like it it happened last week mgm resorts breached by scattered spider hacker sources and this just happened two days ago <laughs> Now over here, if you if you read San Francisco, Washington, a hacking group named Second Spider bought down the system of 14 billion, it's dollars, okay, dollar 14 billion gaming giant MGN Resorts International this week. Two sources familiar with the matter said a US law enforcement started a probe into the breach. Several MGM system remain paralyzed for a third straight day after it is said on Monday, it has shut some of them contain a cyber security issue. The company, which operates over 30 hotels and gaming venues around the world, including in Macau, Las Vegas, said it was investigating the incident. How much amount of the cybersecurity data breach was? Not the breach, sorry, the, the entire industry okay, that MGM was handling. 14 million. This is a recent case. Happened two days ago. <coughs> now coming to our slide. Any questions? Any questions over here? Any questions over here? <laughs> All right. So over here, so 
this market will going to be 248 billion by 2023 why it is going to be the billion dollar industry because everything is a market we need to understand in this way if you start a if you start a smartphone company from tomorrow so definitely definitely you know that this smartphone market is so potential in india china and 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 other countries which are populated okay so over there your your product will going to be you know sell out like like anything so similarly every single thing has a market aviation aviation industry has a market if i want to step my footprints into the uh, aviation industry i can do that if i want to be go into the travel and tourism industry i can do that okay so there are plenty of things there are plenty of markets so similarly cyber security is basically a market which is going to be 248 billion by year 2023 so now over here we need to study cyber security market by solution identity access management encryption utm anti virus anti malware firewall ids and ips these are all these security solutions recovery and dos mitigation now the industries will be going to be expanding deployment mode organization size industry vertical and region now when all these devices will going to be implemented into the industry so that demand for the engineers will going to be increase or it will going to be decrease let's say i i'm already running an organization and now there is a demand of security now there is demand of high standards of security high level of encryption so definitely i as an as an as an as an ceo of company i need to spend the amount in buying the equipment from the from the market so when i'm buying the equipment from the market let's say firewall uh, identity access management my malware anti virus anti malware so i need those engineers who can set up these devices okay it's simply like that you need to dig a you need to dig a hole you need a guy who can operate the jcp you can bring the jcp but you cannot operate by yourself because you are not the guy who knows how a jcp functions so similar to that when you buy these devices you don't have expertise to deploy these devices into the real time environment you need an engineer for that so because of all these things going to be happen that demand will going the demand is rocket sky right at this moment for the cyber security engineer but at the same time we are facing something over here the cyber security gap what is the gap we need to look there is a huge demand that we call as a rising demand versus talent in short supply now what do you understand by talent in short supply and over here one thing to notice is over here it is talent it is not something that employees in short supply so when the talent is in short supply it clearly means the organizations are looking for the talent they are not looking for the uh, you know like the people who just uh, are an average talent means an extraordinary they have the skill set of problem solving analytical skill those are required by the industry right at this moment now why there is why there is short supply just give 30 seconds to think and let me know <clears throat> what is the reason how many of you are already into your graduation and how many of you have already completed your graduation how many of you are already graduated yes or no just those who are already graduated just type g and those who are under graduation just type ug under graduation so it will be giving my clarity and i'll be able to answer you in a more precise manner okay we have sony we have nadeem we have sawik we have prashant we have jai we have gaurav jeet aniket nikhil rohit saumil kutubuddin nagendra okay wow thanks a lot now you are undergraduate guys okay and those who are graduate okay this this will be for them as well now over here why there is a talent in short supply you need to realize one thing that into your graduation into your university what you are studying is completely different what is being running into the industry if i ask you give me three cloud vendors into the market who are the cloud who provides you the cloud who provides you the cloud i might be getting the first answer that aws cloud 
we can go with the AWS. Then the other one will be saying that, okay, we have the Google, Google Cloud, that is GCP Cloud. Then we have the Microsoft Azure. Are these the cloud vendor into the market or not? Are we agree on this point or not? I'll just write it on the corner of the screen, AWS, GCP, and Azure. Okay. Now these are the cloud vendors into the into the market. <laughs> now open up your books of your university where these things is being discussed, where this thing is being talked about into the market in, about the market that these are the leading service providers, these are the leading cloud providers. And in your books, you will not going to be finding a single single chapter which is precisely focused on the cloud computing, explaining about the real time deployment of the cloud servers and all that. What is the purpose of the cloud? We deploy real-time servers on the cloud, like Linux. If I want to use the Linux, I want to use the Ubuntu. I want to use some of the Microsoft server. I want to use X, Y, Z information on the cloud. But in our books, we don't have this relevant information. Now, tomorrow, when you completed your graduation, a lot of you might have planned, okay, I want to be a cloud engineer. I want to get into the cloud, cloud penetration testing, cloud security. You don't even have a single knowledge about the cloud. You don't even know right at this moment who are the cloud providers. You don't know how to manage the things on the cloud. Then how you can expect the industry that will be end up providing you the job because you never get a chance to work on the cloud. You don't have a real time, a practical knowledge that how server operates on the cloud. So that is the reason there is a rising demand. But at the same time, the talent is in short supply. This is one thing. Okay, I talk, I, I ask you, which is the most hot piece of cake into the industry right at this moment when it comes to the technology? I'll repeat my question again. Which is the hot piece of cake into the industry right at this moment when it comes to technology? Or which technology right at this moment is high in demand? I'll give you one example. AI. <laughs> Now, a lot of people was thinking that, okay, I'll type the AI. I willingly type this AI, okay? Other than AI, cloud computing, okay? Other than cloud computing, what is the other technology? Go ahead. Data, data science or what? Data analyst. Go ahead, type your responses. Edge computing. Okay, that's a great answer, Usha. Perfect. Okay. Data science. Okay amazing quantum computing okay cool no doubt and okay. these are very very high okay quantum computing edge computing okay this is this is for like the people who are already into the masters or uh pursuing their phds vapt vulnerability assessment and penetration testing okay then we have the machine learning okay cool a lot of lot of answers are there and the answer keeps on popping up Cool. These are the answers. Okay. AI, data science. Okay. But you are from the technical domain. So let's talk about the cybersecurity related. Have you ever heard about something like virtualization? Have you ever heard about the, this dockers? Containerization. Ever heard about it? <laughs> heard about it cool awesome that's perfect okay but this are this information is into your university books or not <coughs> docker virtualization containerization this is related to the it domain you will barely be finding only a one percent or even less than that a topic into your books covering this and these are the top these are the technologies that we use into the industry every single day you work on the cloud you work on the virtual machines you work on the virtualization manner you work on the dockers containerization you deal with a lot of things every single day and the things which is used every single day not a single topic is being covered up into the book so next day when you are completing your graduation how do you expect that you will be end up getting a job into the market as per your requirement <laughs> So this is a big concern over here. So this rising demand versus selling in short supply because the things which is being taught into the industry and when it requires is, is a huge gap. So what your university is teaching and what is required into the industry is a huge gap. So how this gap can be reduced 
this gap can be reduced by these hands-on learning training provided by the Edureka. Over here, you would be learning with dealing with the servers, configurations, practicals, a lot of projects you will be doing. So when you will be doing a lot of things with hands-on, so the gap which you got it from your university will start to fill up with the industry knowledge and industry things which is which is high in demand and over there um, when when we deal with certain technologies all right so over here we need to understand this point now what is cyber security and ethical hacking i have explained you in a detailed manner what is cyber security okay and ethical hacking a lot of people get confused like with the with the ethical hacking that what is an ethical hacking so ethical hacking is nothing is just a part of cyber security so cyber security is a big big domain which contains uh, uh penetration testing which contains the cloud security which contains the web application security so every single thing comes under the domain or under the umbrella of cyber security so ethical hacking is also just a part of cyber security all right so over here we'll take a 30 second pause and i'll give you a time to type your queries if everything is clear just type c or if there is any doubt just type d so let me know which team you belong to you belong to c team or you belong to d team okay we have clear team okay we have from the clear team okay nadim if you have any doubt please type your question Okay, that's wonderful. That's amazing. That's fantastic. All right, so let's move towards the next part of this presentation. So cybersecurity, as I already explained to you, there are many different kinds of cyber attack. And we did the case study, started with the with the Facebook, then landed up on the Acer, then jumped towards the Samsung, two cases of Samsung we saw. And last but not the least, we look into the Apple server, who so was compromised by a by a teenage boy who has just completed his 16 and moving towards it 17 so that cases we have looked into it so when you will be into the cyber security your whole goal your whole efforts is to protect the organization from these attacks all right <clears throat> so you are going to be the future cyber security engineers now over here when you decide to get into the cyber security engineer you have to think that you need to go for a red team engineer you need to go for a blue team engineer or you want to be into the yellow team. Okay, so red team and blue team is quite and pretty famous when it comes to the cybersecurity because red teamers are also known as the offensive guys. Okay, offensive means they break into the networks. They are legally hired to break into the networks. Okay, then the other team, the blue team is known as the basically the uh defensive mode okay they are known as the defend defenders they they their whole goal whole job is to protect the network from the real-time attacks or from the attacks which is being executed by the red teamers okay so generally you will be finding the people either into the red team or into the blue team and if you are like me though who doesn't like to be uh coded who, who don't like to code and develop anything. So yellow team is basically for the developers who design and develop these cybersecurity tools and write the programs to test against some of these scripts. So red teamers directly work with the yellow teamers as well and the blue teamers also. It depends upon the scenarios they, they are working. Okay, so red teamers are globally around 80 to 85% people. And then we have the blue teamers who, who their work is to to protect the organization the defenders and the yellow team is like okay just to code and there are other small teams okay then what is an ethical hacking it's just a domain so we should not be dealing much with this now why you should go with cyber security as i've already explained you plenty of things with the cyber security now we will be looking towards the stats of cyber security starting with the first one when you are into the cyber security the technical lay layoffs are not hitting this digital job market so if you are into the cyber security you are on a on a safer side you're on a safer side now over here cyber security jobs are high in demand and even as a tech industry goes through the layoff <coughs> sorry a specific work skills certification that can be earned online are 
more important to the employers than a college degree. So over here, it is claiming that what you are learning through past three years of your of your graduation is not making that much of significance impact what you learn through this certifications through these online training program will be making a significant impact on your career why because these these certifications cover up a huge huge amount of information comparatively to your degrees because college education is nothing have much into the real time and the practical then existing professionals especially those who are into the it roles can successfully start a career into the cyber security we are all in average the amount they can make is one hundred thousand dollars okay then over here if i look towards the statistics that demand for the cyber security 3.1 million almost 31 lakh cyber security jobs will going to be vacant through the globe indian it firms hit due to the shortage of skilled worker and it is the stats which is released in the april 2023 so now over here you need to understand that how much of the demand of cyber security engineers are there and industries are not able to fulfill this the the, the vacancies why <coughs> what is the reason because the industries are lacking with this with these skilled people why because the college institutions are not uh focusing on learning the latest technology for which i have shown you a proof of concepts we discuss about a few technologies and at the same time there was no technologies being discussed into your books now 3.5 million cyber security jobs will going to be open up by the year 2025 so imagine the amount of jobs we'll be having into the next few years. Now, over here, a lot of people think, okay, still it's 2023 and 2025. I still have two years. So I can make myself ready by 24 end. So over here, we need to understand that if I am started to study right at this moment, and when I will be completing my program for cybersecurity training, two months, three months, four months, after that, I can get into a job my job will help me to learn so many things it will help me to clear out my basics my communication a lot of things will gonna be improving in next one and a half year so by the end of 2025 or by the beginning of 2025 i will be on that position where i will be holding an experience of almost like one and a half year or almost like two years and then i can look for the new opportunities on which i will be getting a better pay as well because you are already holding an experience at that point of time so this is the reason that why i should go for cyber security four to five things i have shown you which is required into the industry right at this moment where there is a demand for cyber security engineers is quite high all right so over here 30 seconds we'll take a pause and just need to know you belongs to the c team or you belong to the d team <coughs> <clears throat> which team you are from <clears throat> c team or the d team okay that's fantastic keep spamming my inbox jay saumil nagendra sony nadim amal okay we we are c team okay <laughs> and counter strike we have the counter terrorist team okay cool awesome now over here those who are asking that okay okay if i get into the cyber security if i get into the cyber security what should i start with so here i have listed out 20 coolest cyber security position where you can start with so over here not a single domain you can means like you can start as a threat hunter you can be a system or a network or web penetration tester you can be into the incident you can be into the law enforcement you can be into the mobile security you can be into the secure software developer if you have an interest into the development you can into the compliance security governance risk management intrusion detection plenty of job roles are there and depending upon your area of interest you can start with that amazing <clears throat> what projects you will be creating so <clears throat> now we come to that part of the presentation where we will be discussing about the project so one thing you need to understand when we are talking about the project project plays a vital role in improving in enhancing your skills 
because project is a thing that you will be doing by yourself let's say i give you a project okay you have to develop a tool into into c++ language okay so you will be end up researching you will be finding the code you will be learning about the code and at the end of the day you will come to me hey sai if i have developed this application so that helps you to learning okay your improvements towards your learning to about to dedicate to about towards a specific programming language so similarly the first project that this program will be having is secure user access management using the linux so we know that into the universities into the colleges there are only a very few colleges which talk about uh, linux into the real time they talk about the deployment of the linux so in this program you will be getting an understanding with linux how to deploy the linux how to work with the linux the command line with the linux and then once every single thing will be completed you will be getting a project about working on the linux part that is a mini project that's the first project you will be dealing with then the second project we have when it comes to the design and development we have this web application source code analysis this this project you will be able to understand with a better with with, with an example we are using flipkart we might using mintra we might using amazon a lot of e-commerce websites we use on a regular basis maybe you are using the blinkit or zomato are we active on these 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 websites or not of course so from the time you are opening this application the time you log into this particular website and until the time you add your product and order okay whether it's zomato whether it's blinkit whether it's flipkart whether it's amazon so when it is starting from the client side and the server side a lot of information is being exchanged between the client and the server so those requests and the response is always hidden and it runs into the background so you can look into those requests and responses and you can find out the potential vulnerabilities okay and you can report now what are the advantages of finding those vulnerability and reporting those vulnerability i will explain you in a while so let's say you find a vulnerability after doing this project okay this project you completed this project so you will be having an understanding how web application functions how you can find the potential uh, vulnerabilities into the web application so once you are able to get the grip on it so over here the aditi singh ethical hacker who got 22 lakhs for fixing the microsoft security issue this is one example then another example over here indian hackers win 22000 dollar which is almost like 1.5 crore okay for bug bounty for uncovering major vulnerabilities this is another example that is a for then we have another example over here if you look towards this indian boys once they've gone shivam kumar singh with 15 lakh rupees for microsoft bug bounty for unveiling the big flaws so if you understand that how this application works then you will be able to report the vulnerabilities you will be able to find those vulnerabilities so this is the project precisely designed on that isn't it interesting then the third project that is purely on the linux where you will be doing the information gathering finding the information that is about the linux part <clears throat> now the fourth one is the mini project where you are going to capturing the flag in this you will be given a vulnerable operating system which will be having plenty of vulnerabilities as soon as you find multiple vulnerabilities you are moving closer to capturing the flag so once you reach toward that you are end up catching the flag so multiple vulnerabilities will be there into that particular operating system now the fifth one is basically the industry grade project that is like ethically hacking into an e-commerce website like in amazon and over there you will be dealing with oweb's top 10 vulnerabilities so if you want to be a web application hacker you will be going with these top 10 vulnerabilities oweb's is the industry standard for for top 10 vulnerabilities into the web application so all these pro all these technologies tools you will be learning during your this training and into this master project so this is going to be uh you know a blended learning for you 
focusing on the Linux, focusing on the web application, focusing on the operating system, focusing on the OWEB stop 10 tools and, and attacks. Now over here, we'll take a 10 second pause and I just need to have a quick confirmation over here. Are we on the same page? Is everything clear or is there doubt? So you belong to the C team or you belong to the D team. Okay, that's fantastic. We have the responses. Someone mentioned that R team. What is the R team? <laughs> okay, C team, C team, fantastic. Usha, Lakshay, Kutubuddin, wonderful. Rohit, okay. Amazing, that's fantastic. Thanks a lot. Now what you will learn into the internship program, these are the tools and technologies, which is are not limited, okay? Only for the sake of, only for the sake of understanding, we have used up dozens of tools over here, dozens of technologies, but it is way more than into the real time training program when we'll be having the training starting. So we will be dealing with around 35 to 40 different tools for the network, for the wireless, for the web application, for password cracking. So on an average 35 to 40 tools, we will be dealing into this training program, okay? Now, do you think about the certification? What are the certification? So into this training program, you will be allocated with three different certification. The first one course completion, second one is Edureka internship. And the third one, which is important, this certificate will be rewarded to those who will be completing their all the projects and submitting within the timeline. And once who one who will be doing this will be getting a chance to become the teaching assistant with one of our instructor so there are three different certification now module specific certificate we have four different module specific certificate the first module we have divided into the operating system and networking fundamentals cryptography and application security then the third module is cyber security tool and the fourth module is web application hacking so these are four different modules into this training program and for that we have these uh, projects and the certification. So there is a recap of these projects. You will be ethically hacking into the Amazon side, securing user access management, web application, information gathering, and the capture the flag. Okay, so these are the projects you will be doing. Then the recap of the certification. So these are the certifications will be will be allocated to you. And not only that, you will be getting these three set, these programs free of cost from the Edureka, that is the Network Defense Essential, Ethical Hacking Essentials, and the Digital Forensics Essentials. You will be getting this free of cost for this training program. These will be particularly bundled with this. Now, the program details that this program is starting from the upcoming of 17th of this month, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yep, 17th of this month. In starting from tomorrow, we will be having every Saturday and Sunday, two hours of Saturday session. Then two hours will be on Sunday. <coughs> and in a week, there will be a two hours on a, in a week. Like it can be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, any day. That is for your doubt resolving. So Saturday and Sunday, it will be... <coughs> It will be the instructor based session. Okay. Instructor means like our instructor will be coming for the delivery and they will be explaining you the whole concept related to cybersecurity. And on the on the weekday, you will be having the doubts. In case if you have doubts, you can directly interact with the trainer. All right. So the timings for this is going to be 7 to 9 p.m. Okay. Every Saturday and Sunday. Now the instructors and the mentors who are going to be the instructor, their experience, motivators, interview coaches, and industry experts. So these, the instructor will be helping you to prepare you for the interview, helping you into the real time project that is from the that is from the instructor side. Now once you enroll for this process, what you will be getting? So you will be getting a dedicated username and the password to access our. LMS, that is our learning management portal. Into that, you will be finding the whole detail about the program, the presentations, the assignments, the PDF, the demo, the tools, and your sessions will be conducted throughout that LMS, okay? The live sessions will be there in case if you miss due to your sickness or any other reason, you can check that recording later on. Also, you will be getting a chance to directly interact with the mentor on the weekdays as well. 
Now, who should join this internship program? Definitely those who are keen to learn about security, they must go for this training. Okay, it doesn't require any of the prerequisite, just a basic thing that you should know how to turn on and how to turn off the computer. That's the only minimum criteria we are expecting for from our learners. Okay, there are our past learners feedback regarding this trainings. Now, this is important that why do people struggle to get a job? Now, this try to map these points with your current situation. People are not learning the latest technology. So just think, our university's books are focusing on the latest technology. Are they talking about the cloud, virtualization, containerization, AI, or anything? Of course, a big no. So definitely we will be getting struggle to find the job. <coughs> Our colleges help us to work on the real-time projects? Of course, no. They don't help us to get a real-time project. We have to search for the internship after completing the our graduation. They don't help us to prepare for the interview. They don't help us to skill ourselves into the most demanding job. Right now, for an instance, the cloud security engineer is the high in demand. So how you will be making yourself skilling with the cloud if you are totally relying on your college or your university education, you will never be. You need to go for a outsource learning training center. That's an idea. And the fourth one, they do not, you people do not get a proper training, career guidance from the industry expert, which leads to a problem where you will be finding yourself struggling to find a job. So the first important thing is that we need to learn those things which is high in demand and going to be into the demand in near future as well. Because our books is outdated and that doesn't have those materials which is being used into the industries. Now over here, yeah. So over here, the benefits that we will be getting from the Edureka is the interview preparation will be provided by the Edureka. The placement assistance will be provided by the Edureka and they will be helping you to prepare your resume as well as the portfolio. Now we come to that point of the presentation where a lot of people were asking that, hey, can you please share us the price for this program? How much this program will gonna be costing? So now I'll take a 30 second pause over here. 30 second, not 30 second, 45 second pause over here. And I just need to know from you guys that what do you expect? What is the price for this program? Guess any number. You can you can type any numbers over here into the QA. That won't be a problem. So start typing the numbers. Okay. We start to get the responses. Okay, Nadim, Aniket. We have from Showmail, we have from Tawel. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, free. It's not going to be free. We will be providing the scholarship to our lucky ones over here. Okay. So don't worry about it. It will technically it will going to be free, but we have we have a mechanism for the scholarship for this program for few candidates. Okay. Okay, we have a wonderful Lakshay Sony, amazing. Okay, Prashant, wonderful, wonderful. Uh appreciate for your responses. Now this program is being offered at a price of 43,998. But as I promised, initially we are offering this program at a price of 21,999. Along with this, the program price, what you are getting bundled with, you can reserve your seat just by paying a token of 1,000 as we have, as we are offering this program to our learners with a scholarship. 5,000 to 10,000 rupees of program, you will be getting self-placed learning program of Microsoft.net, Python, Java, machine learning, and iOS and Linux that you will be getting immediately after paying a token amount. And you will also be getting a special discount when you will be paying your the token money of 1,000 rupees. And in, in, in addition to that, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> And the total fee that will be including the token amount is 20,999. And as I said, we have limited seats for this program. So only for the few learners, we have the seats, not for everyone out there. And also we are offering this program with a flexible installment payment. Over here, we are accepting 15 debit card and credit card options over here. All right. 
So this is this is the this is the price of the program. And my bad. Now over here we will be having a poll. And in a while, those who are asking that how can I make the payment? So please stay tuned for a while. Okay. The payment link and the QR code will be provided to each and everyone out there in a while. So as I said, we will be having two different polls, and those who are going to be by staying up to the second poll, they will be getting the certification for this training program, for this uh, for this webinar. Okay, so now over here, I will be launching the poll in a while. Okay, so over here, <laughs> yep. Cool. So I guess uh, everyone is able to see the poll that I have launched on the screen. Is it visible? The poll is visible. Okay, so just take participation into the poll. Like uh, it's going to be the the journey for you for the cybersecurity. Okay, that is going to be helping you for <laughs> for your new step towards the cybersecurity. Okay, so the second poll which you are into this, it's taking participation. It's important for you because it will be helping you to uh, rewarding the certification career counseling call. Okay. And you will be able to 50% of the scholarship, claim your scholarship if you are going to be taking uh, participation into the into the poll and the first option. Because as I said, as I said, uh, this program we are offering uh, uh, with the scholarship as well. So there will be few lucky people will be there getting this uh, scholarship that is going to be the important for them. And if you want to know more about our installment plan, you can go with the number two option. And for the people who are looking for the counseling session, one, two, one is there. Along with this, I can see that more than 60%, I guess more than that, people already took the participation into the poll. And that's wonderful. That's amazing. And yep. Okay, so now important thing is that when it comes to the cybersecurity, you you saw a lot of lot of things when it comes to the cybersecurity. I've explained you how there is a overwhelming demand for cybersecurity engineers into the into the market, the job market, the salary market. When it comes to the and if you are into the bug bounty, you can max you can make ten lakh, fifteen lakh, twenty lakh, thirty lakh, depending upon the type of bugs you are finding into the into the websites. Okay. So this is going to be the last option for the last few minutes for the people who hadn't taken the participation into the poll. I will be here for a few more seconds. Please take participation into the into the poll. OK, then after that, there will be no more chances and options will be provided to 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 take participation into the poll and you will no longer be uh, going to be the eligible for the scholarship. All right. So. We'll take a we'll, we'll start with the countdown 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Thanks a lot, everyone, for the participation. And I can see close to 80, 80, 80%, 85 percent people already took the participation into the poll. And thanks a lot for everyone out there and i'm going to be closing the poll now and we will be moving towards the towards our next step of this presentation <coughs> and i will ask my associate to take over the session from here and i believe uh so shushma is here yes sir so thank you so much for conducting such an amazing more session water lovely crap we have got so guys just give me a minute i'll quickly present my screen i'll explain about the reservation part and explain about the importance of you guys going ahead and reserving your spot in the next 15 minutes by the way this demo will be there for the next 15 minutes and i believe you all are able to see the link and the qr code on my screen so yes you can also use the link which has been shared to you guys in the chat box by a backend team member so why is this link why is this qr code as have so rightly told there is a very limited offer today and the offer will be valid for the first five person who be enrolling by reserving the spot with just thousand rupees of token amount so this link and qr will ask you to pay thousand rupees 
if in case if you are reserving your spot for our next batch which is starting from tomorrow you guys are eligible to get a course worth of 44000 just at a rate of 21999 and why is this offer this is a festive offer and the festive offer is closing today because the batches are starting tomorrow clear so stay with me let's discuss more about the class wise plan let's discuss about the placement opportunity we do provide you 100% placement assistance i want to talk more about that i know a lot of you are asking me too many questions in the qna box but before that can i quickly get a confirmation from all of you and like who is interested to reserve who wants to enroll for upcoming batch or if you do have any questions be it a technical question be it a non technical question please go ahead and you know ask in all your questions in the q and a box the chat box is disabled but the q and a box is there open right for you so all your questions you can ask in the q and a box by then let's have a look at the class wise plan also so as you can see in the very first month of the program we are teaching you about operating system and networking fundamentals sorry uh, so is my screen visible can i get a confirmation at least for that can i get a confirmation is my screen visible for everyone there's a class wise plan on my screen so as you can see in the very first month of the program we are teaching you about operating system and networking fundamentals now all of you who were asking me how do i start with cyber security and ethical hacking the answer is very simple guys you will have to start from operating system and networking fundament once you have done with the first module of the program we make you do your very first project related to operating system and networking fundamental in the first month of the program then we take take you to the second month of the program where we teach you about cryptography and application security now people who have asked me questions like i am from a non it background how do i start with cyber like you know cyber security does it require too much of programming does it require too much of coding i am someone who hates coding for all of you this is like a must learn topic because cryptography is already a pre written set of code and guys if you are someone who hates coding then cyber security is like a must try field for you it does not involve too much of coding and you will be working on your very second project to cryptography in the second month of the program in the third month of the program we teach you about various cyber security tools we are teaching you about 30 plus trending tools even if you take a four years of you know bachelor's degree in cyber security you won't be learning so many tools in your colleges but we do teach you 30 plus cyber security tools and we make you do your very third and most important topic that is information gathering in the third month of the program in the final month of the program you guys are introduced to the topic of web application hacking and you will be learning about vulnerability analysis you will be analyzing how vulnerable is the website for external attack and you will be building your very final project called you know ethically hacking into an amazon kind of e-commerce website yes you heard me right you will ethically hack into an amazon kind of e-commerce website along with this there will be a final challenge called ctf so this is a curriculum which has been designed for all of you for the next you know four months so anyone who's enrolling will be eligible to get the course at just 21999 for that you will have to go click on the link or scan the qr code and make your reservations as soon as possible clear with that so i can see that nandu you have just clicked on the link yes nandu once it is done you can let me know olu are you from india Olu Adidayu, you are from India, or you are from any other parts of the world. If you are from India, this link will definitely work out for you. Work for you. If you are not from India, then you will have to make the reservation in UST. Like, or okay, you are from Nigeria, then we can uh, share you the Nigerian Nayar Naira link. You can make the reservation, uh, you know, via that link. So, can you please uh, share me your email ID, email ID, and phone number? We'll generate a link. and then in yeah in nigerian naya you can do it all that's not an issue arti i already answered this question you be from a technical background you be from a non technical background that does not matter everything to you will be taught from basic to advanced level over here clear with that uh mohammi nadeem you can expect a minimum salary like as a fresh you can expect somewhere from you know 9 lakh lp and it can go up to 19 lakh lp 
if you're a complete fresher you can expect like you know somewhere from 6 lakh lp and it can go up to like you know even 26 to 27 lp with like just 6 to 8 months uh, you know of experience you can expect a jump you know from 9 lakh to 16 lakh also Each and every classes here will be a 100% live interactive session, Am Amal Nisha. Each and every session will be a 100% live interactive session and we do not provide you any recordings like the other edtechs. So we provide you a 100% live interactive sessions and everything to you will be taught from basic to advanced level. The duration of the program, Ankit, it's for four months. It is starting from tomorrow and it will go for the next four months. Lakshaya Sony, you're raising your hand. I cannot go and unmute you at this point of time. So whatever the question might be, please go, go ahead and drop all your queries in the Q&A box. Yes, the internship. This is a course come internship, Ankit. So simultaneously, you're doing a program, you're doing a course as well as an internship. So by the end of the program, you're also eligible to get an internship letter on completing it. Clear with that. Any other questions? Yes. I'm extremely sorry. I got a call. Yes. Clear with that, Ankit? Any other questions you have? Uda is telling that he's reserved his spot. So, yes, I'm just waiting for the confirmation from the backend team. Uda, yes, Uda, congratulations and heartily welcome to our upcoming batch. That's amazing, Uda. Uda, you do one thing. You drop in your email ID and your phone number in the chat box. See, Lakshaya, Sony, anyone can do it. You be from a commerce background. You be from a science background. You be from a arts background. That does not matter here. Cyber security is for anyone who knows coding, who doesn't know coding. You can come join us. Everything to you will be taught here from basic to advanced level. And I have been repeating this from quite some time now. So please go ahead. Because if you have this doubt in your mind for longer, you can never go ahead and try. The minute you try something, you understand, right? Whether, whether you really have that interest or not. And this is like an amazing must try field. Why am I telling? In India and in abroad now, the demand for cybersecurity specialist or an analyst like is really huge, but the supply is really, really low. Companies are even ready to pay you 14, 15 lakh as a, you know, even as a fresher, even to a fresher, they're ready to pay this. And we just don't help you with the curriculum. We just don't teach you. We help you make industry graded projects. Not just some, some you know, mini projects what you see on YouTube. We make you do industry-graded projects, industry-level projects. You will be ready with industry-level projects ready. Clear with that? Ankit, we have our own uh, placement platform called Elevate through which the entire placement process will be held. So once you come to the fourth month of the program, Ankit, first you will have to prepare you for your technical aptitude. We'll prepare you for your technical aptitude. Then we'll prepare you for your interview. We create your resume. We'll forward your resume to all the tie-up company. Until and unless you're not getting placed, you will have the career opportunity from R and Ankit. So we do have tie-up with 158 plus companies like IBM, Accenture, Wipro, Cognizant, TCS, Capgemini, Infosys, Paytm, PayPal, Udana, and many more. Like I, I just tried naming few here. Like these companies, they come on the Elevate platform, they post their requirement. You, Ankit, can go and apply to n number of companies there. Once you have got shortlisted, we will help you with your technical aptitude preparation, your resume preparation, LinkedIn preparation, GitHub preparation, and even your interview preparation. Four to five mock interviews will also be taken from RN and will help you with that. But what if I want to go to abroad? I'll need a degree that... Lakshaya, before you moving to abroad to do a, you know, to do a course in cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or whatever, be it, even for a job purpose, you need to have a certified course done. That will bring a lot of value onto your resume. Just do not go to do your master's or MTech because your friends are doing it. Understand the market demand first and then definitely go. I know like now loans are getting easily approved. And there are a lot of your friends who are going to abroad. Please do not get, you know, like uh, fascinated by uh, that. And you also do not go without doing a back-end research. 
to get into cyber security and ethical hacking market be it in india or in abroad you guys need to have a certified course done and more than a certified course done you need to have projects you need to have a strong portfolio for yourself if you are mentioning you know 30 plus tools on your resume and if you do not show any projects then how can uh, you know an institution or how can a company trust you if you have mentioned that you know ethical hacking and if you have not even worked on ethical hacking project then that doesn't make sense and that is what sir sir was trying to explain to all of you guys and even i'm trying to you know tell this part and make it clear uh, from past some time now Bonath Bharat, the uh, the program fees is twenty one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. If in case if you are reserving your token now, the token reservation amount is just thousand rupees, and you see a link and a QR code, right? You will have to use the link or QR code. Ankit, I believe the an that question has been already answered by my team member. Do not worry about the placement percentage, but just you know you ensure that you are joining to the program and you are completing your assignments, your projects, your you know all your task on time and and see the results you actually do not need uh, a degree for that lakshya that is what that is why i'm stressing on the word portfolio you need to have a very strong portfolio for yourself with good number of you know industry graded projects in it we not only help you with teaching here we also help you with your career assistance here okay i think nandu we received your payment nandu that's amazing nandu that's amazing i know you face some issues i think my packing team helped you with that nandu the batches are starting from tomorrow it's starting from tomorrow the sessions will be from 7 to 9 I have got a list of failed payments. Druval, I can see that your payment has got failed. Rahul, Rahul Kumar, I can see that your payment has got failed. And Gagan, I can see that you have just clicked on the link. So Gagan, Rahul, and Druval, if you guys are here, uh, do let me know, guys, if you are facing any issues. Druval, I cannot assure you that like after this demo ends, still the offer will be there. So if in case if you want this discount, you will have to reserve your spot now. But that doesn't mean you cannot enroll later. You can still enroll later, but the program fees will be forty three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, and I cannot assure you that the seats will be open for seventeenth of September. Ankit, the sessions will be three days in a week. Wednesday two hours of session, Saturday two hours of session, Sunday two hours of session. That will go on for the next four months. After your four month, next one month, the placement part will be there. Three D modeling, three D designing, C H graphic designing, all are different different streams. Lakshya, first you understand what you want to become. what you like you know which field you want to get in have that clear picture in your mind it is good having you know to it's good having knowledge that's amazing that you have learned all this but you know when you are getting these are professional courses lakshya okay cyber security ethical hacking these are like professional courses web development data science these are professional courses Jai Nakar, I'll be here for the next like six more minutes. I can already see three persons are trying to make the payment: Druval, Rahul, and Gagan. So yeah, I'm just left out with three more seats. If in case if you're making the reservation before them, this scholarship will be yours. Only five seats. And if you're asking me why is this scholarship being provided, it is because of the Gauri Ganesh festival which is coming on Monday. The offer started on last Monday, okay, and it is ending today. And the batches are starting from tomorrow. 
Jai, I'll be here for six more minutes. Please talk to your parents and you can reserve your payment in the, you can reserve your seat in the next, like, you know, five, six minutes. Gagan, I already told that cannot happen. But Gagan, you can do one thing. You can uh, share us your WhatsApp number and your mail ID. We will share you this link and QR code on your WhatsApp as well as on your mail ID. Will that work, Gagan, for you? Ma'am, I want to do bank to... Yeah, Gagan, you can do bank to bank transfer. We'll share the bank details as well. You can make 1,000 of reservation. You share me your email ID and phone number. Thank you for that. Anyone from the backend team, please help Gagan with the link and the QR, please. So, Ankit, are you are you interested in enrolling? Ankit, Lakshaya, Gagan, Dhruval, and I think I missed one more person, Rahul. I'm waiting for your confirmation, guys. Please give me a quick confirmation. And what about others? Amal, Aniket, Aritra, Bharat, Christine, Magnesh, Hemavalli, Nikhil, Shaukik. Okay, there are two Rahuls in the session today. Usha, Vedant, Rajashri, Matashri. Okay. The headquarters is in Bangalore, Ankit. You have any questions, Ankit, you can drop all your questions here in the chat box. Despite that, if you do have any personal questions and you want a one-on-one -on, one -on -one counseling, then uh, you can just post your mail ID and phone number in the chat box. We will contact you. 